the fall of 2012, Jim Osier came to me and said, you ought to go look at Princeton. I saw a town that was growing, and I thought, there's no way we can not have a good United Methodist Wesleyan presence here in Princeton. Well, it was a long journey, actually, but a short phone call from Jim Osier. Jim called one day and said, this church became open, and would I be interested? And I said, I don't even have to talk to my husband about it. That would be perfect. And we uh, put the original worship service in a cafeteria over there in the school. We had the trailers. So I got there early and they pulled in the trailers and started unloading and I thought, oh my goodness, what is all of this? From the church we were coming from, it was very traditional. The hymnals, the robes, that's what I was used to when I first visited. At the school, I was like, that's not how churches are supposed to be. The men were unloading, pushing these big black boxes, and then they got everything set up and then all went to change their clothes because they were hot and sweaty. The setup time was um, wearing out our volunteers. They were getting tired. So we found this opportunity to go into downtown Princeton, a, a barbecue place that had closed. We had rented in this same center uh, several months before and the barbecue place that was in here the owner we were really good friends and he came in one evening and he said don't tell anybody but we're going to close down the barbecue place and so we literally came down here and moved tables out of the way and lined up chairs and tried to calculate how many seats we could get in here if it would even work and um, we took that risk and it has really been great it's been really great it's a much smaller space but it's warm it's inviting it has character our primary challenge right now, there is the issue of capacity. You sit there, you forget that it used to be a barbecue place, because to me, it is a church, and I wouldn't have it any other way. So the biggest thing on my heart was that the people here needed to own the church. I don't mean the building, having a deed, but I mean to buy into this was their church. We had to make that pivot. When it was set up, take down at the, at the school, their responsibility was done. It was packed back up, put in a trailer, drove off to storage, and then the rest of their week was the same. So to get a space uh, to start midweek Bible studies, to start a youth group, to do all of those things was a huge pivot. Everybody wants and needs something that is transcendent in their lives about which they can be passionate. And being creative and innovative in terms of providing a ministry like that, I think can be really uh, important and, and life-changing for a community, for a church, and for an individual. It's not just about church. It's not just about attending worship, but growing as a disciple. I think we're still adapting. I think we're still trying to hear and to learn what makes us unique. What is it that people need? Everyone in the city knows Kathy. They honestly know Kathy will do anything for anyone, and she's probably about the first person anyone calls at the city if we need something. This is a place where everyone is welcome. You may not agree with us. You may not agree with our theology or some doctrines. When you come here, you're loved and accepted. And I say that every week to remind people that we've got to be loving and accepting. And I think that makes us unique in this town. I served a little town called Frisco in 1975 when the population was 1800. And so that was a huge model for me as I conceptualize what was taking place in Princeton. I've seen Frisco grow from a population of 1800 with a little tiny Methodist church to the huge city that it is now. And I thought that's what's taking place in Princeton. Everywhere you go, you're representing the church and you've got to be, to let people know who you are and let people build a relationship with you and a connection because then once they do, when they have something in their life, they will come.